And he gathered together all the princes of Israel with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of thirty years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man, was thirty and eight thousand, of which twenty and four thousand were to set forward the work of the house of the Lord, and six thousand were officers and judges. Moreover, four thousand were porters, and four thousand praised the Lord with the instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, named Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These were the sons of Levi, after the house of their fathers, even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by number of names by their poles, that did the work for the service of the house of the Lord from the age of twenty years and upward. For David said, The Lord God of Israel hath given rest unto his people, that they may dwell in Jerusalem for ever and also under the Levites. They shall no more carry the tabernacle, nor any vessels of it for the service thereof. For by the last words of David, the Levites were numbered from twenty years old and above, because their office was to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord in the courts, and in the chambers, and in the purifying of all holy things, and the work of the service of the house of God, both for the shewbread, and for the fine flour, for meat offerings, and for the unleavened cakes, and for that which is baked in the pan, and for that which is fried, and for all manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at even, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord, in the Sabbaths, in the new moons, and on the set feasts, by number, according to the order commanded unto them, continually before the Lord and that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Jedaiah, Yehdiah, Yehdiah, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ishiah, of the Izharites, Shelemoth, of the sons of Shelemoth, Yahath, of the sons of Hebron, Yariah, the first, Amariah, the second, Yahaziel, the third, Jechamiam, the fourth, of the sons of Uziel, Mikah, of the sons of Mikah, Shamir, the brother of Mikah was Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah, the sons of Morari were Mali and Mushi, the sons of Jaaziah, Beno, the sons of Merari, by Jaaziah, Beno, and Shoham, and Zakur, and Ibri. Of Mahli came Eleazar, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Jeremael, the sons also of Mushi, Mali, and Eder, and Jerimoth. These were the sons of the Levites after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers over against their younger brethren. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron, the sons of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and had no children. Therefore Eleazar and Ithamar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar. And thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eleazar... There were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Ethamar, according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another. For the governors of the sanctuary and governors of the house of God were of the sons of Eleazar and of the sons of Ethamar. And Shemaiah, the son of Nethanael, the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eleazar, and one taken for Ethamar. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoiarib, the second to Jedaiah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Sheorim, the fifth to Malkijah, the sixth to 
Miyamim, the seventh to Hakoz, the eighth to Abia, the ninth to Yeshua, the tenth to Jeconiah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshabiab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Emir, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Afses, the nineteenth to Pethahia, the twentieth to Jehezes, to Jehezekiel, the one and twentieth to Jakin, the two and twentieth to Gamul, the three and twentieth to Delaia, the fourth and twentieth to Maaziah, Maaziah. These were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord according to their manner under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him.